Good evening, and welcome to the St. Petersburg by Night Podcasting Network. Tonight, we present to you our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, Don't Get Caught. to the St. Pete by Night Twitch stream where we play St. Petersburg by Night, a massive multiplayer tabletop role-playing game of Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition, Hunter the Reckoning, and now Werewolf the Apocalypse. My name is Nikki, also known as Crafty Mirage on all social media platforms, and I am one of the storytellers of St. Petersburg by Night. Make sure to check out all of our social media on all the social medias at St. Pete by Night, and we also have a website at stpetebynight.com. We are also on Instagram, Twitter, which is now X now apparently, YouTube, TikTok. We have so many places you can find us, so go check ahead and check us out. And if you aren't read, already subscribed here on Twitch, go ahead and push the follow button and catch more of our amazing chronicles here at St. Pete by Night. We have like 13 active tables going right now. It's insane. And if you're actually interested in playing with us, come join our amazing server and be part of our community where we are also now opening up for open RP until you players can find a new table. Today is episode three of our Anarch Chronicle, Don't Get Caught. And here we go. Oh, my amazing players, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Zumi. I play Avery, a Bruja. I'm Gwendal, and I play Judicale, and I play Gwendal, the game girl. I'm Krasnos, I play Rex Nasrat too. I'm Jay, I play Valerie Monnet, the wonderful Venturi of our fine coterie here. Yay. And of course, I am Nikki, but you know that. All right, so... Our Anarch Coterie was gathered to perform a task for... I forgot to put the music on. Our, ga our Coterie was gathered to perform a task for the Anarch Baronies of Pinellas County. The task of discovering the kindred responsible for a series of murders that threatened the masquerade with how messy they were. Mangled, broken, and exsanguinated bodies were discovered at various crime scenes with distinct bite marks in their flesh. Last week, the Coterie managed to clean up a bit of the most recent murder and spent the evening gathering clues from the site of the murder, from the witness who discovered the body, and from an overly aggressive chihuahua who told Rex that he witnessed the, a monster disappearing into the water that left behind the smell of blood and waste. That was last week. Our coterie is new to town, and as such, they've spent some time getting to know the new territory gifted to them by the Baron they work under, Sebastian de Leon. 
and catching up with the odds and ends of their night-to-night -night life. Tonight, we get a glimpse into each kindred's life as they settle before they begin the real work of helping protect all the Anarchs in the area from the threat of this masquerade reaching the kindred. To start out, we're gonna be visiting Val uh, Avery. We're gonna be visiting Avery at her household. Do you wanna describe, Avery, what your home looks like? Yeah, um, it's very bright yellow. <laughs> Obviously not picked by Avery, but by her girlfriend, uh, Chloe, um, who, as far as everyone else is concerned, is her ghoul. Uh, on the inside, it's very nautical themed. Came, uh, obviously, because Florida. Uh, came pre-furnished. <laughs> um, I don't know. Lots of lots of blues, lots of yellows. Very beach vibes, right? Very beach vibes. <laughs> you and Chloe, Chloe loves it. You and Chloe trying <laughs> to also make it your own. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you we're gonna touch back on your guys's thanksgiving yeah. you would have roused that evening and already can smell the sense of food being prepared by chloe that evening as you come out of your room you can hear the hustle and bustle in your small kitchen the smell of turkey gravy and the bird that's already been prepped and put in the oven, though it's not quite done yet. Um, and she is just moving about the kitchen, her the, her cell phone kind of on her, on her shoulder and talking on it. Um, Chloe is a woman about 32. She's got dyed blue hair and she's very pretty kind of looks like what was it that we said she looked like uh bella thorne kind of got a bella thorne thing going on uh she's dressed in very comfortable clothing for the evening since she doesn't plan on going anywhere and just chilling at home with you avery but as you come out you can he start begin to hear her talking on the phone yeah no um yeah, no, we're settling in. Great, Mom. And, uh, yeah, we're just having a chill dinner. Just me and Avery. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to come visit for Christmas. It's just, uh, it's, tickets are expensive, and I really don't want to drive, like, a full day. Like, it'll take, it would take two days to drive there, and I kind of, yeah, no. Maybe next year, yeah. Or maybe I can try to come in for Dad's birthday or Father's Day. I don't know. I'll, uh, I can see what's going on and figure it out from there. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. She hangs up. Well. Uh, Avery just comes up behind her and wraps her arms around her. She's like, good morning. <laughs> I've been awake a lot longer than you. It's evening, ma'am. Uh, it's my morning. Okay. I got the turkey already done, and I know you don't really eat, but did you want to help me with some of the food? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I currently need help making the whipped cream. for Because I am not eating that stuff, that canned garbage. I got a thing of heavy whipping cream in the fridge, and I the blender's somewhere blenders somewhere uh did we unpack it yet i think so i want to say we did but it could still be in one of the boxes in the closet yeah avery's just like going through like cupboards and everything yeah and she's Before... going back to like checking the mashed like the <clears throat> potatoes as they're boiling in the pot yeah uh eventually like go to the closet and like pull out like the KitchenAid blender like Obviously, like, the teal color, because Chloe is the one that buys all this stuff. <laughs> so I don't need it. You don't need it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just... Best part of uh, making whipped cream is the whipping part, so... <laughs> There's <laughs> just... some powdered sugar I know in the cabinet that I bought for sweetening that. Um, and... 
here. And she just pours you a glass of wine, even though she knows you're not going to drink it, just to kind of make it feel like you two are chilling and vibing and drinking. <laughs> just like sniff it a little bit and just like sadly set it back down on the counter. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can't really get what you need. Uh, no. I wouldn't want you to. I know. Um, so, how was, uh, that thing you went to the other night? Uh, uh, well, the Baron is an interesting character. He's... So, the Baron is, like, a mayor or something? Or, like, a boss? <laughs> what? Well, I don't know, because you, well, you were, like, Omaha was ran by gang girls. That we discussed this. And, I mean, you know, know but, like, you know Quinn, I'm, I'm, so. I'm trying to org understand your structure, your guys' okay, structure. Okay, so, okay, so, like, a baron, so there's the prince, right, the, the, of the Camarilla. Yeah. And he's, like, and top like, dog of the area, right? They're, like, the Republicans, well, like, right? Yes, they're, like, the Republicans. Okay. They're, they're fascists and ridiculous. And then... There's barons who are like the anarch mm -hmm. ruler, and they have like a smaller area, but he's still like in charge. But it's more like loosely. I don't know. And they just. I'm just... And you guys just. What? Why do you have to do what he says though? Because this is his, this is yep. This is his area. Okay. I mean, uh... is he nice? He was very interesting. <laughs> okay, I I'm trying to understand your life a little, hun. Dan, okay, okay. Tell me, so, tell me about him. I just like Avery like grabs her hands, right, and she's like, okay. So you and I <laughs> are polyamorous, right? But yeah. neither of us have ever really like pursued other relationships i'm still not however if this guy was like hey come over i would probably be over there in an instant that in type of interesting so he's hot or something oh, he's hot he's very hot like he's a pretty boy oh, okay i mean <laughs> as long as he's nice and like not dangerous i don't want you putting yourself in well, danger I, um He's a vampire. Of course, he's dangerous. Oh, excuse me. A kindred. It's like, it's like, it's like, like sarcastic. You like, obviously, like a freaking like issue between like Quinn and Avery with the actual like <laughs> terminology. <laughs> so, you said you had some other people that you were meeting that night. How are they? Uh, pretty cool. There's. And Nosferatu, they're the ugly ones. Like the, like the um, movie, right? Like the movie Nosferatu, yeah, they kind of look like him. Does he look uh, like him? Kinda. It's like one part of his face looks all burnt and whatever, and the other part looks pretty human, I guess. Okay. Um, There's a gang girl, which is the ones that are The like, animal guys. Very, yeah, the animal guys. What's the uh, difference between like them? And, they're, like, they're, like a, they're like a werewolf without having to be a werewolf, right? They're, 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 yeah, they're like vampire werewolves. Werepire. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Do they like, uh, turn into animals and stuff? I haven't seen him turn into an animal, but I can ask if he can. I mean, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Uh, and then there's another one. Um, they're like, her name is Valerie. Uh, and she is a, <laughs> Sorry, my brain just went. Whoop. Um, I'm sorry. The name of the clan? Ventru. Ventru. I was like, it starts with a V. <laughs> Ventru, which are like business people, I guess. So she's like corporate um, America. She dresses like corporate America. I mean, it's a look, but I feel like it would be super hot to wear that in Florida. Yeah, but weather doesn't really affect us. Yeah, I've noticed that. And I'm a little jealous because, like, no B.O. <laughs> That's the one part I am right. jealous about. Except for when it gets cold, which I don't miss. I mean, we don't feel it, but, like, you know, like, 
we still can freeze. Yeah. I mean, that's why we bought the. We'd be like a statue. Yes. Because let's be real, cuddling with you is like (laughs) cuddling and an ice Ice statue, an ice statue, like one of those fancy ice statues. Because you're. I can warm myself up, but I can't stay warm when I go to sleep. (laughs) It's like. It's you're stiff as a board too. It's a little unsettling. That's I, it's I because mean. I'm dead. I know. I know okay. Dead. Okay. All right. Just read my. I am. Older. I am an animated dead person. <laughs> With fangs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyways, whipped cream. Yes. Powdered sugar. Yeah, um, we did find a body. No, we didn't find that. We saw the body. I think it was mangled beyond recognition. The one that was in the newspaper, right? Yep. It was not an alligator. That's a shame. Are you so you yeah. gotta find the person who did that? Yep. Are you sure this isn't dangerous? I'm positive this is dangerous. We can just leave if we need to, hon. You know that, right? Where would we go? I don't want to go back to Omaha. We can... I don't know. We Somewhere where there's less of you guys? Uh, the country? I have to have a food source. No, no, no. Like, less of the vampires, babe. Again, uh, we're in, like, major... Okay. Um... All right, like a small we'll, town, I suppose. We we'll could take like make it just just be careful, me, please. Of course, I'm always careful. You need to be careful too, because if they find you, I you told me I know. I'm yeah. sure. I would like it if I could know what if you could get pictures of them, so I know what they look like, so I can avoid them. Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. I can ask them for pictures. I don't know, like, uh, coterie. Like, maybe don't ask them for pictures, hun, because I think that's going to be suspicious. Maybe, like, if I, you can sneak a photo of them or so. I don't know. Or just tell me what candid they Candid pictures, like. got it. Or tell me what they well, look like or something. Well, I told you what Rex looks like. Yeah, the, yeah. Nosferatu. Half his face all twisty. And he's, the, he's the most memorable. Okay. Uh, business, the girl, the Valerie girl. I just know that she dresses in business suits. Is she, what does she look? Is she like pretty? I, yeah. I mean, she's not ugly. She's not my type. <laughs> I mean, you don't really go for the corporate America people. No, freaking capitalists. <laughs> uh, and Judy Kale. Gwendale. Oh, the- Sorry, J- Gwendel is, you know, French. Oh, okay, that'll be easy. Just avoid the French guy. <laughs> Just avoid the French guy. Also, Sebastian. Avoid Sebastian, although I don't think he comes out very often. Okay, and... Do pretty boy. Know what he looks like? He's, I know he's a pretty boy. What is he, like, is... Sebat- like I just know his name. Dark Sebastian. hair, kind of a weird goatee thing. Okay. Chiseled I'll just, jaw. I'll just um. Nice go out, I'll just go out during the day. I'll just go out during the day. <laughs> That's not say Okay, you know what? It's go out during the day. That's no fun. I'm gonna like go clubs back to- at night. I'm gonna go right back to making the mashed potatoes. And uh, man, I miss mashed potatoes. Yeah, they're really good. I'm making with them with a garlic herb butter. You're lucky that garlic doesn't actually affect. Yeah, because that's the deal breaker. That would... huh, no, that's the deal breaker. I need garlic in this household. <laughs> she'll go over I'll she'll, give you a, she'll give you like a, she'll give you a little bit of a hug and kiss you on the cheek before heading over to yeah. finish the like... to, to potatoes. Back to whipping the whipped cream into submission. As you are whipping the whipped cream, um, you get a text message. Okay. <laughs> uh, check the phone. You check the phone and you can see that it's your sire, Quinn. Ugh. Saying, okay. <laughs> happy holidays, kiddo. 
Uh, hope you're settling in well. Uh, let me know if you need anything. You know, I'm always here for you. Why do they have to be so nice? <laughs> she literally just texts back like, yeah, you too. And he just uh, sends a gif of just like... Like, it's like one of those typical parent gifs, like, that don't, aren't from an actual show or anything. It's just like a Thanksgiving animated gif. <laughs> because they're old, and, because they're like, old and they just don't understand how these work. Text me, like, you're such a boomer. <laughs> you know, that's not nice. I try to be up, uh, caught up with the times. Come, comes the reply. I'm not even caught up with time. Stop being a brat. Make me. <laughs> I'll show up at your door one day. Don't think I won't. You don't have my address. He does. You don't get a response back. The rest of your evening goes by uneventful. You and Chloe just get to relax this evening watching some new show that's come up on Netflix or Hulu, whichever you guys prefer. And you have a lovely Thanksgiving evening together. And I assume at some point during the evening, you go out and get yourself some dinner. Before we yep. Can't we're gonna feed from Chloe. Oh. She now, said no. we're going to move to Gwendale. Gwendale. You are one of the individuals who moved to the Haven along with Valerie, which Valerie, you're going to be brought into this as well. The Coterie Haven that you were given is a very loud building in the sense that it is a bright reddish pink almost with just a bunch of garden like garden variety bushes so a couple palm trees and some flowers this place was decked out to look like something from a 90s sitcom about florida the golden girls the golden girls yes that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> and when you go inside it's decorated very sparsely it basically looks like the place was staged there are three bedrooms that are available to everyone with actual uh beds and there's desks there's a kitchen area for your ghouls if needed a living room area you do notice that every single bedroom in this house however is has been retrofitted to adhere to uh kindred needs so there are hurricane shutters on the out that you can crank closed from the outside that also provide full blackout, uh, like can blackout your rooms. And there's also blackout curtains as an additional layer of defense. Um, so uh, as you guys, um, as you two are adjusting to the new haven, uh, give me a wits and awareness. That's a great start. Yeah. <laughs> we got one. We got one. That's why I have my ghoul to see everything, okay? That's 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 their job. Well, let me roll for What's this pool again for this? Oh my ghoul oh, I probably should have his stats open. That would probably help. One second. Ah. Yes, me too. Sorry, I just, I have it open. Mm. Uh, Wits Awareness, it's eight. 
You have to be very good. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> I'm glad that you're on my side at least rolling this guy. Um uh, Pays to know the right people. What's an awareness? Yep. Okay. River, who actually notices it, you see him go over to this like weird music box that's in the living room, just in the middle of the table. And it's extremely, it looks extremely old. And he brings it out up and he's just like, This doesn't match the rest of the decor. And he's just holding it up in his hands. I, Why? Like, is it is it antique? Something? It look yeah. It, you can look at it. It looks like an antique. It looks very old. I guess I would like reach over, like wrap it, kind of like look at it. Just this. I doubt it's a parting gift from Sebastian. I don't think you would deal anything like these. But hmm. Uh, is there anything I kind of notice about it, like looking at closer inspection? Um, on closer inspection with that one you rolled, it looks fine. It looks like it's it's a little worn, but it looks like it used to. It was made from like mahogany or something. It's very nice, just old. Like the varnish, like the the varnish on it is kind of wearing down a little bit, but on the outside it looks fine. I just offer it to, uh, to Wendale. As I say, uh, I mean, if you want to take a look at it, I mean, go ahead. I mean, we could just keep it around, I guess. I don't make the point to well, getting always, rid of it. Uh, well, thank you very much, Valerie. Uh, I'm always interested in some elegant treasure. That's a word for it. Treasure. Do you open the music box, Glendale? I do. So you open the music box and you hear a song, like it's a French lullaby playing on the music box, a little, about like a little, like it doesn't have a little ballerina or anything. You can see it's just a gear, like one of those like little, like, I forget what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. The little yeah, like a kind of a photo phonograph no it's uh, like one of those cylindrical uh, gears that spins that makes the music mm, inside of it doesn't actually it's not actually very decorative on the interior mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just the mechanism of the music box but it is playing for you a song a french lullaby that you at uh, you and several other children would have known at gro going to going to school and everything that you would have sang it's something that you're very familiar with valerie however you don't hear a french lullaby you're listening to the music coming out and you can hear a music box rendition of Sweet Child of Mine. I feel like just like a moment, just kind of sitting there, just staring, kind of time very tense and just what a odd music box. And just okay, kind of so, staring. So you, you know French songs, Valerie? French. This is far from French. Uh, it's. Uh, what are you hearing? It's. it's... Well, I'm hearing a, a French song with something we we sing when we are children. When we are children, you know, uh, school songs. I guess you may call them. Frère Jacques. That's the one. You know the, the nice song you that's learn something. when you are a kid in school. Things like that. River looking a little confused. When you were a child, as well. You no, you don't do that in America. 
I didn't think Slander was a song nope. that played back, back, like, back when this thing was probably made. Yeah, the Sweet Child of Mine is probably not either. Sweet well, Child of Mine. It's playing Love is Gone by Slander. Uh, could I possibly, like, with my occult knowledge, try and, like, discern anything about this? Like, if I have heard maybe mm -hmm. anything about this? Could I argue intelligence? intelligence? You can do yeah. Intelligence. intelligence and a cult, I will also accept. Can I try to help with an investigation role? Do you have any uh, dots in a cult? No. No? But I do have an investigation. It's an occult role. You can only assist if, it's an a, if you had a dots in a cult. Too bad. Not this three time. successes. All right. So with three successes, you are aware uh, in your education uh, through as a kindred that along with vampires the uh, another thing that's very real are ghosts you also know that werewolves are real you know that everything that you thought was fake monsters in the dark majority of those are very real and you learned that when you became a kindred and you also being from where you are you also learned from your sire and just hearing things around the court that you were raised in that St. Petersburg had some issues for a while when they were trying to get their praxis and one of the biggest issues they had was a ghost problem the, th the veil around St. Petersburg around this peninsula has always been thin and has always been weird and it's not that shocking to or unheard of that sometimes that to that these hauntings sometimes attach themselves to objects. Valerie, do you think we are in some kind of supernatural episode? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this was of supernatural uh, origins. It's been apparently, I mean, St. Pete in this area has been going through some difficult times with that with the veil but of course leave it up to Sebastian to give us a, our haven to be a location that also had to be haunted <sighs> I wouldn't expect anything less so I, so should I get some salt I don't think it'll be that simple the I don't have full knowledge of you know exercising spirits mm -hmm. I would have to go to the Tremere for that one. They probably have more information. Okay, but we promise that we will never say that name. You know, Tremere. Well, unfortunately, that would be the one people that be most qualified, unless we are trying to involve other kindred. But I, and I mean, so far, it, it doesn't seem to be hostile, which is the main yeah, thing. I mean, it, it, not such a big deal. You're hearing Sweet Child of Man, which is a very nice song. And I'm hearing some French songs, which is uh, which are nice also. So, um, This is far from being uh, an annoyance or no, something disturbing. Right? I would, I would recommend it to not keep playing it, because we don't know what kind of adverse effects could happen from just exactly. you I mean, playing it. I can this. just uh, close the, the damn thing, and then I close the... Close, music box. You close the music box. Um, where are you going to keep the music box? Uh, in a vault. In a little, little, in, what, like uh, inside the house? Like you have like a little safe? We can like safe. buy a lock yes. box. Like a lock box? <laughs> like, okay. mm -hmm. All right, you Do you want to keep it in your room or my room? I prefer your abode. You'd probably be more capable of dealing with whatever happens. Well, I'm going to keep it in my room because maybe someone would be interested in it. Something like that. Okay. You keep it in a safe, uh, a lockbox in your room. Mm -hmm. And we'll Locked and loaded. We're All gonna right. move on to Rex. Rex, you had a very specific thing you wanted to do this week, which was check out the sewers. Yeah. Um. Uh, I, I was going to check for Nosferatu stuff, but if there's anything other kindred related in there in general. Okay. So 
So go ahead and give me a wits and survival roll. Sure, one second. Messy crit, uh, all successes. Do you want to keep the messy crit? Sure, why not? Okay. So, you go down into the sewers. And you are faced with a labyrinth. Of just large pipes that travel throughout all of Penel- Like, throughout the entire peninsula, pretty much. You know that these that the you you know you've learned from your sire that the best uh, Nosferatu's best course of action is to learn the underground of their sit the city that they're living in because that is the best way for Nosferatu to travel unseen. But because you know that this is a labyrinth that you do not have mapped out, your clan compulsion kicks in. The desire to learn secrets. You want to know every inch and corner of this entire grid. You want to follow it. So much so that in this moment, you're not even looking for clues anymore or looking for anyone else you just want you are going to successfully map this place out but you're not going to be aware of where you're going you're gonna you're gonna remember where you went but you have no idea you have no focus on when to stop you just want to you just need to go and go and go and for hours you do this you at some point you get to almost like a cistern within the sewers. It's a very large area and you can see that it branches out throughout several, like in several paths. And as you get to arrive at the cistern, give me a wits and awareness. Uh, one success and uh, failure on the blood day. All right. You don't notice or hear it. The sound of a foot splat hitting a puddle behind you. But you do feel a little too late the feel of sharp edge at your neck. Your reaction, like, uh, the, re- the, the, the reflex of stiffening and get, like, cutting in a little bit, so you take one superficial damage. That's gonna be the result of your failure, is the superficial damage. And you hear a voice in your ear. You cross the line, kid. Um, yeah, sure. What, 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 what do you expect me to do? I'm just trying to figure it out. You feel the knife, the the blade pull away, and you can look down and see that it is a full blown scimitar that was held to your neck, and pulls away slowly. You can sense the person backing up. As you turn around to face this individual, you can see a small, lithe figure wearing black joggers, sneakers, and a black hoodie. There's a face mask covering the 
bottom half of their face. And their eyes are, are pretty much shadowed by the hood of the hoodie, but you can see from just looking at them and the, with the little light that there is here in the sewers, it is that the, the eyes that you see are have cataracts in them and the whites have begun to yellow a little bit like jaundice almost and that there's just dark circles surrounding the eyes that are kind of sunken in and hollow looking great there uh the scimitar seems a little excessive favorite weapon of yours down her mask, revealing a grotesque face. The cheeks pretty much sunken in. This woman looks like a corpse. Missing the nose entirely. And Ooh. when you, she opens her, like, when she opens her mouth to speak, you see that her teeth are blackened and gross. The gums are gray and putrid. And she just tilts her head at you. You came down from the north. Uh, I guess. Um, around Tarpon Springs is where I last, where I started. So you work for the pretty boy. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I would assume. Are you one of the ones that he put to the task? That's a little uh, vague, but um, uh, I, I assume he has many coteries doing many tasks. Are you the one that they put in charge of the fucking Matt murders? Uh, that's a need to know basis. I don't think you need to know. Uh, well, if you're anything like me, uh, you might want to dig that out of me at some point. You're new here. I've met most of ours from this, pen this peninsula, but I haven't seen you yet. Yep, I'm from, a uh, Panhandle. Pensacola? Just about. And you know too much. It's my job to know. This is our job to know. Yes. That far across state? Man, I don't... Last, The only thing I care about is what the game was last night. Fucking shit. I don't keep up with mortal sports. Events. I can't do it. When you've been around as long as me, kid, your information sources can throughout several cities. Mine go all the way up to Chicago. Damn. You'll learn. You'll get better at it. What's your name? Uh, you can call me Rex. Gangs call me Recluse. How far down are we? You're in Palm Harbor, kid. You should be here. Yep. Surprised the municipals connect that far. They're confusing. And she looks around. I've been trying to map them out myself for the past three months. Not 
normally when you come into someone else's territory, you should do the courtesy of introducing yourself to them. Mr. Farrow, do Baron Farrow doesn't need to know that you are here. Consider this a courtesy from a customer. Uh, you got it. Uh, I'll be turning around now. Hang on. And she'll, uh, you see her do like a little chitter, like a chittering sound of a rat. And you see a large, very large rat, like bigger than most rats, uh, come out from uh, one of the pipes and walk over to her. He's very distinctive being pure white with red eyes and uh several like uh, several knocks in one notches in one ear where he's clearly gotten into some scuffles with other rats this is my familis if you ever need to reach me for any reason we nasferatu do not recognize sect lines or territory lines when it comes to family right Ratsby the third, and she, you hear the mouse chit, the rat chitter a little bit. Apologies, the great Ratsby the third. He can find me if you need it, anything. Uh huh. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Be careful. Watch yourself around. And which one is that? The Baron you serve. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh, not super keen on him already. And you see, and she'll just pull her mask back up and disappear into the sewers. Vanishing right in front of you. Like you hey, had so direct I'm... eye contact. You had direct like you had eyes on her and she just poof, right in front of you you managed to get back to your section of the sewers and finish mapping them out the rest of the night we're gonna move now to Valerie Valerie you said you wanted to touch base with David now you guys hadn't met in person before, so this is going to be a first time meeting him. Yeah, uh, I like to imagine that Valerie is kind of coming to this meeting, not like in the normal, you know, suit and uh, kind of very upscale outfit. Only a little bit, only a little bit less, like more of a casual shirt with like uh, long pants, uh, a little a suit over, like one of those dusters or what they're called, uh, like over, like layers on. Yeah. It's a blazer, that's what it's called. Uh, sorry, like over, just so it kind of still keep up a little bit of like a uh, more formal look. We're still trying to come off a, the tiniest amount of casual. Not used to trying to be, you know, normal or casual. Don't have very much many of those outfits in her closet. So you got you. Uh, uh, he suggests that you guys meet at a coffee shop, and uh, you meet him there that night. He's not put off at all by wanting to meet at in the evening he's a night guy he's a night guard so he's out during the night uh, the evenings as well it's his day off so he'll meet you at the cop at a coffee shop and when you come into the coffee shop you see a man about your age he's got um dark brown hair um caucasian looking man brown eyes and he's dressed pretty casually himself today he's got jeans on some sneakers and a band t-shirt on and he spots you coming in and he uh he waves i would like to start this out by using a blush of life if i can okay so that's a rouse check is it not Uh oh. Uh oh. Before you walk into the co coffee shop, you gather yourself. River, of course, is staying in the car, but you gather yourself. You force the blood to stir and make your flesh a more lively color. 
um, and you feel your belly, that pit in your stomach, get a little more empty. And the beast starting to growl in the back of your head, wanting to eat. It's not I'm much so like yet, but it's starting to get a little bit louder than it was when you woke up this evening. I imagine I walk in, like, uh, for a moment, like, before I walk in, I'm kind of like, I take a deep breath trying to compose my beast and my newfound hunger kind of, uh, and come in just, oh, is that high? And just kind of like, you know, kind of nervous, like a little wave as I like walk over, I kind of looking around. How many like people are in here right now? It's They're... late. So it's kind of just David, maybe one other person who's on their laptop with earphones on and then the staff. It's a small, like it's a small business coffee shop not a Starbucks or anything like that so it's just people chilling like a, just one other customer and then the and then the two staffers that are here yeah like I, I walk over to where he's in kind of like uh give a little smile at that oh, it's been a while huh uh, yeah. I didn't think this would uh I kind of didn't think this would even happen uh yeah. but I, I'm happy to see you yeah, he, he doesn't know how, to, like, he kind of, he gets up as you approach, and he doesn't know whether or not to hug or not, or hold out. He's like, you see him, like, uh... Yeah, I, I offer, hold out and, hands. yeah. And he, he kind of, like, does a tap on the shoulder as he you do the handshake. And, uh, hey, ha uh, have a seat. You want, uh, if you want, I can get this round. Oh, um... I would appreciate that, actually. Uh, yeah, um, you can get me uh, whatever you think would be best here. Honestly, I've you know I'm not really uh, used to coffee, so whatever you think is a good flavor, you know, I would honestly tea? be okay. You want, you want a tea then? Yeah, I, that would actually be really nice, actually. And he goes over, he puts in the order for the tea, and then he comes back. The, uh, the baristas are making it. They'll, they said they'll bring it out to you guys once uh, they're fi it's finished. So, uh, how you been? It's uh, been a few years actually yeah yeah um it's been it's been okay um i just you know moved closer to the area so um you know i've finally got a chance to you know see you around and i had to settle down a little bit before i could actually like get stuff going the place that i moved to had some furnishings left over and they were very interesting say the least but it's been nice you know coming over here yeah, uh, I, I just got an apartment but, uh, in town, but, uh, so, uh, what, what, what have you been up to since, what, middle, was it middle school? Yeah, around that time, it's been, it's been a while, um, but, yeah, I've just, you know, been doing my own thing, you know, went through, nothing really much has happened, honestly, I mean, a lot happened, a lot of smaller things, obviously, but, yeah. I didn't go off and do anything really all that spectacular. You know, currently working, uh, you know, night clothing nights at Planet Fitness, trying to at least get some money up. I'm thinking about going to college, maybe. I'm not sure. I just, I'm not really sure what I want to do right now. But yeah. I, I started doing the college thing because you know the rentals. They uh, were kind of pushing me towards doing like law school and all that stuff, but I just, it was, I did a year of it and it was just too much. And they were just, you know how parents are, they were just being overbearing about it. They're just like, you need to go to law school, you need to do the thing, you need to become a politician in 10 years. And I'm just like, I don't even know if I want to be doing this, guys. I, I, I understand that so much, honestly. Like, I remember my dad forcing me to go to that private, you know, high school, and it just sucked so bad. Yeah, like everyone going into high school was kind of just a little, be like I told him to stop, but there were people just being like, "Ooh, fancy Valerie going to prep school," and I'm just, it's you didn't ask to go to prep school. I really, I missed everyone, but I had to leave honestly. But I've, it was honestly hell. It was being there, uh, mandatory uh, theology lectures. Oh my god! I, god. I if I could burn those from my memory, I would. But uh, it was not fun. But I don't. You don't need to make this time about you know yeah, all the yeah, shitty yeah. time. 
how, how about you? Anything, uh, you know, good been going on, at least for you, or uh, has happened since I last saw you? Well, um, I've been doing the night shift thing. Um, it's, it's weird, it's stupid, I know, but, um, I'm kind of trying to do the Twitch thing of just playing video games online for money, but my parents say it's stupid, but I kind of just ignore them and I just do what I want. And I don't have a lot of followers or anything, but I'm enjoying it. It's fun. I get to just play video games. I get to like shoot the shit with people on chat. It's, it's fun and it's relaxing. I thought like a lot of people say that being like doing the streaming thing is stressful and difficult and stops being fun, but I still like it. It's, it's cool. I like it. Yeah. You like, you can, I, I never really like got into like a lot of the online stuff, like, you know, especially with the school, like, and you know, I, it was just everything was busy. No one really even talked about it. Like the only like the the guys, you know, would go there and talk about it. But like, do you you play games and people like watch that and yeah. you can just I've been playing a lot of like these uh, mobas and stuff. Just uh, it's it's uh, it, it's it gives me something to focus on. Uh, keeps my anxiety down. I have fun doing it. It's it's nice, but like I mean, it doesn't really. Like, I maybe get, like, a $20 check every month. It's not a lot, but, like, it's something. Yeah, I mean, it's if it's fun, I suppose. Uh, I really need to get more hobbies, honestly. I don't really get a lot of time to do stuff. Especially, you know, working nights. You just don't really... I can't go out and, like, you know, do... Go out, like, a wood carving or someplace, you know, or whatever. It makes it difficult, but... Um... This girl, this girl I'm seeing, she's been doing, so, she's been like crocheting and stuff. Maybe she's, she likes that. Maybe that's something you can pick up or knitting yeah. or something or embroidery. The, all the grandma, like it's funny, but like all the grandma hobbies are kind of like becoming mainstream now. It's actually yeah. hilarious. Like all these like 20 year olds doing like grandma stuff. Well, things kind of tend to go in loops you know i've this is one of the things that i've seen a lot like me especially when i was in uh, had to study a lot about history and whatnot and she kind of knows things just kind of happen in a pattern you know things yeah. research and go back down then come back up it's just like you know something in the future we'll probably see disco come back again even that'd be cool actually oh you know what i think i'm gonna get a disco ball and put it into my streaming uh, my streaming studio oh my Bring disco I, back. Let's do it. Make that like a part of your thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you can like wear those disco outfits too while you're while you're doing your oh, thing. That'd be like, pretty cool. Afro. Like it's like I look, looking up and down. Like you might. No. I, maybe not. But you know, maybe it, it'd be really cool. If, like maybe a few times. You know. Okay. I'll, I'll get the rainbow afro. If people don't like it, I'll, I'll ditch it. Yeah. Yeah. If you like Valerie, just kind of like like what's probably a bit more tense in the beginning now and just kind of like a lot more relaxed now, like kind of like finally settling down into like the chair, you know, not looking around as much of like kind of occasionally like glancing to the side. Just like like huh. Been I don't know if you see there maybe coming in. Oh, but I it's been a while. Like I haven't got to talk to a lot of people lately, especially because like night shifts, you don't really get a lot of friends and a lot of I mean, you hey, you can try the amount of creeps at Plant Fitness. Yeah, there are. Um, I'm always down to hang out on my days off if you're up to it. We can make this like yeah. a regular thing, just catching up, having coffee and stuff. I'm, I might not be able to make it regular, but I could I could see us doing this a bit more, you know? I, I would actually kind of like that. It's yeah. been nice to go out and do something that doesn't involve work or, you know, trying to to figure out schooling or what I want to do. It's it's really nice. So you guys chat for a little bit. You get your drinks and he doesn't really make notice that you don't drink it at all. Actually, there's the lid on it. So you can just disguise it, make it look like you're sipping, but not actually taking anything from the cup. And after a while, um, you decide it's time to leave. You finish catching up. You start going your separate ways. He heads to his car. Um, give me a wits and awareness, Valerie. Uh, I'm not so good with these. And I will also roll for river. Oh, yeah. Yay, river! 
If all else fails, have someone to do my job for me, but better. Only three. I have three dice. I got one success. Um, so you don't notice it as uh, you open the door, but as you open the door, uh, you know you can see River just staring at the rear view mirror of the car intently. And ha Is something and has wrong? His, has his hands gripped on the wheel. I'm not sure that there's a woman that's kind of just been hanging at that corner for a while looking around the corner like looking around a lot and i'm gonna yeah, look you turn and you see just uh a woman just uh wearing a sweater uh with long blonde hair like golden brown like golden blonde uh she's got green eyes um looks she's stunningly beautiful but has kind of just a lost and confused and hungry look to her eye and is kind of just looking around just like look looking like she's about to go forward and do something but then like backing up a little bit and fidgeting a little bit and she hasn't really got she hasn't really realized that you have spotted her Hmm. I'm just staring, staring her down. Do I, I have a question? Something I don't know the top of my head. Uh, do I have another way, like, for kindred to recognize other kindred? I forget the top of my head if there is a, a way. You can make a wits and insight roll. You know what? Why? I mean, I can give it a shot. Why not? Let's go for it. I had two hunger. Total failure. <laughs> nice. You can't tell what's going on with this woman. It you the only way you would be able to determine whether or not this is just another kind or a kindred is if you actually like went over closer and got a look to see if she even had a pulse. Mm, it's probably a bit harder. Uh, I'm gonna try. Mm. Yeah. There's like a the look of like kind of hesitation in Valerie Bath, like kind of sitting there, like as I was uh, just kind of sigh and just I'm gonna at least go see if they're kindred or kind. If you can just keep an eye out, make sure to keep the car warm, and if you jump out if you need to, I'm gonna try and get a little closer. Okay. You see him you approach and, are you approaching the woman i'm trying to sneak up to her okay go ahead and give me a dex and stealth i may be no rex but i at least have four dice for this one <laughs> two successes you start walking towards her but it's hard to be sneaky and And as you start trying to approach, you see her head turn and she looks at you and uh, looks a little caught up, like just a little caught off, like spooked by it. Just like, um, hi, uh, can I help you? I mentioned like, I'll, I'll mainly try to like, stick to the shadows, kind of like stay out of the vision. So I kind of like, I just kind of go more in towards the, the light, street lights and stay up. I just saw you, you're okay. You look a little like you're not sure where you are like you're all right like i just want to make sure you know it's not yeah, a good I'm, place to be I'm lost fine. i'm fine no i'm i'm just new to the i'm kind of new to the air this area and i'm uh i'm just thinking of uh where i can go get some food you see her looking around a little bit more yeah like i'm just trying to let's get a little closer like just so i can try and get my best appraisal of like any sort of pulse or go ahead and give me another wits it can be wits and awareness or wits and insight both the exact same hell yeah i'll go with a 
wits and awareness. Do I want to rouse the blood here? You can if you want. Nah. I'm simply bawling right now. I got it. Two successes! Yeah! Two successes. You're close enough now that you can kind of look her over, and you recognize the look of hunger in her eyes. It's very familiar to you, and you don't see a pulse in her neck. You don't see the gentle thrum. It's just a, like a moment of like hesitation, staring at her with like there's a, a look of like ap almost like apprehension flash across her face but we're kind of like quicking quickly you know putting that under lockdown as she, she said uh, uh i could maybe help out with that if you'd like i know it's a bit hard to find meals especially with you know if you have a little bit more of a unique of a palette uh i could give you some recommendations or show you a place if you'd like at your neck and just uh, starting to take some cautious steps back. Uh, is she matching my eyes? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're going to just go for it. Uh, I'm going to look her in the eyes. I'm just going to tell her, uh, I think it would be in your best interest to get in the car. Correct. I will not have any sort of okay. uh, rogue elements in my in my area. All right. Go ahead and uh, mesmerize. Let's see. I have that in here. I've got the cheat sheet. If I can turn the pages, I'm struggling a little bit. Okay. Um, oh, act like you haven't kidnapped anyone before. It's a rouse check. Your manipulation and dominate versus their intelligence and resolve. Oh, we got a little hunger increase. I don't know. That is fine. Okay. So you said manipulate and my dominate? It's your manipulation and dominate versus your intelligence and resolve. Mm, three. I, I can't I remember. Willpower can't be used to reroll. Uh, are the can it be used to reroll hunger die? You can re regular dice hunger dice cannot be rerolled yeah that's sort of like so if i can, i couldn't if you want to select reroll you can spend a willpower to reroll that one uh yeah i don't think that's quite what i want to do right now so i think that three seems pretty good seems pretty good so she also got three but i always have uh ties go to the player characters she also however got a beast drill failure so, Submit. Yeah, she you she, you meet her gaze and she starts heading to the car without a single word. Getting in dot from here as well. And she gets in the back seat of the car. Where are you going to go? Are you heading back to the Haven where your coterie is? Uh no, I'm. Uh, what I would want to do is just kind of like drive to somewhere a little bit more secluded, as uh, I was you know, just however like you know, a rogue element here. Make sure to keep an eye on her at all times. Make sure to be ready for any sort of conflict here. I'm going to make sure that she, she is not a threat, and if she is, we might have to take a little bit more drastic action. I will hopefully we won't have to though. River is already watching her through the rear view mirror. And she's in the car and she just blinks and you see her immediately get a like glare yeah I, I i already have my revolver drawn on her i just have it just pointed at her i just say nope oh, okay settle down settle down i didn't want to have to do this but unfortunately you're in my area 
Or at least more closer towards it. Oh, I need to know some more about you first. What you seem like you are new, or at least to your our condition, or at least to the area. How long you've been here? Hmm. How long you've been in Kindred Society? Just like not then, just <laughs> you're going out for what exactly? Looking for a meal, looking for someone in particular. No, I was just looking for someone who was just around and alone. But if this is your place, I'll leave. I'll go find my food elsewhere. Uh, I'm gonna incite that. I don't. I gotta make sure that. You know. Go ahead. What's an insight? Oh, wait. This is a three dice pool with a three hunger. Hmm. Oh, one success. We're not, we're not terrible here. That's also a best show failure. I mean, ah, it's, don't, just don't look she at that seemed, one. She seems like she's, she se okay, so she, as far as you're aware, it does, you can't tell. You can't tell whether she's being truthful or not, but your beast does kind of stir within you. It's upset that you're being so polite. You are Ventru. You are a king. You are from the clan of kings. You should not be, be acquiescing to nothings on the street. As the dominate compulsion kicks in. You see like a uh... She, her face kind of hardens now. She just says, uh, so you, you don't even bother to check the territory that you are hunting in for whoever owns it. Someone ought to teach you some manners. And kind of just like, uh, actually, she just kind of like huffs out like, fuck. Lucky for you, lucky for you, I am in need of people who happen to know the area a bit more. And I think a, a great way for you to pay back how you wronged me is to perhaps is to help out. It's to give me the knowledge you know of the area, and we can call this even. Go ahead and give me a, a manipulation and intimidation roll. Can I have River help? Yeah, sure. River can help us. Can can give you one die and assist because he'll have pulled out a gun and also was pointing it like uh, holding it on the uh, like against the wheel of the car only a five dot but hey we make it work that's, that's pretty good <laughs> one success we did it I would love to rouse. However, uh, I don't want to go to 400 already. That would be not you're, great. You're lucky. She also only got one success. So she kind of just nods. All right. I'm sorry. I will pay it forward, as it were, since you love this area. I'm sorry. And she'll, she, so uh, basically what you have here is you have the potential of gaining some dots and contacts with Anarch Kindred, with an Anarch, uh, wait, no. It's an, it's, it's an ally. It's an, it would be an ally for you. So an ally in, in, among, among, the, uh, uh, among the Anarch Kindred is what you can start working towards with this. Yeah, uh, isn't there a thing that's specifically for like kindred allies, like called like something with an M? That's it? for Malas. Malas are mentor figures. 
You're right. I, forget. I, was sorry. I was like, so I thought be, I heard something. She would be oh, an, an ally in quotation marks because you're kind of strong arming her into this. Spot for you having to be my turf. I also this is this in our actual territory. Or is this actually like you are in your a little territory. Bit? All right, perfect. I was like, if it wasn't as my territory, it also would work. I would still say the same thing anyways. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But yeah, so... Uh, uh, what is uh, what is her name? Just like kind of one of the things like, so what is your name? My name's Oriel. Give me your method of contact. Bone, whatever is easiest for you. Are you serious? She pulls out her pockets. She doesn't have a purse on her. She, she's like, I don't have a phone. So what do you do to keep in contact with others then? You just... I don't. Generally, I avoid people of our kind. Because of situations like this. And this high into just situations like this by not knowing other, you know, other kindred and knowing proper... Whatever. That spot that we met at, I'll be checking there same time. Uh, and whatever day it is, which like this on this day, I'll be checking there. I'll be going back there and be sending my associate here. Yeah. You better be there. Okay. Get out of the car now. You can let yourself out. It's just kind of a. Uh, the told Charles River to like stop the car off. Not even anywhere near like uh hopefully no nowhere near like uh just kind of farther away and like kind of on a larger road just so make it a little bit more uncomfortable for her to get back. Okay. Just so like okay. you pull over he pulls over the car and she rushes to get out, putting her like kind of wrapping her arms around herself and like keeping her head down. And she'll uh She'll glance over her shoulder at you one last time through the mirror, through the window of the car before just nodding and walking away. And like, there's probably a moment, like getting out, just like the, the feeling of satisfaction of like, you know, of getting someone to kowtow, someone to listen and, and give me the proper respect. But then like kind of for a moment, there's just a look of kind of guilt, like a look of like regret, guilt, like kind of feeling bad for this overwhelmingly amazing feeling of power and kind of just kind of scr like scrunches down a little bit kind of that being this might high and mighty just thinks into the seat just river just yeah just take us back to the to the haven please i i, I think i'm done with the night he drives you back to the haven and this is where we're going to go ahead and take a quick break uh, everyone go ahead and stretch, use the bathroom, take, uh, get your, stretch your legs. And when we come back, we are going to be, dis uh, we're going to be, um, we're going to be catching up on the, uh, on, on the, on the, the case at hand. Uh, so see you in a few. St. Petersburg by Night is brought to you through collaborations with our partnered vendors. Wolfpack Dice, Ember Fox Dice, Dragon Ink Dice, Bear of the Bard, Champs Tramps, Penshi Artista, and Chromatic Creations. Links to our partnered vendors, as well as our Twitch and YouTube channels, can be found on our website, stpbynight.com. The official theme song for St. Petersburg by Night is Vampire by Faith and Failure. You could find them at faithandfailure.com. You can follow St. Pete by Night on all socials with the hashtag St. Pete by Night. If you wish to support our program, you can do so at coffee.com slash St. Pete by Night to help keep the stories rolling.
guys have gathered. Uh, of course, Judica, uh, Gwendale, and uh, Valerie are already at the Coterie Haven, but Rex and Avery will show up in their what preferred modes of transportation. And you all gather at the Haven. The scene is yours. Did we have to go with the salmon pink place? I mean, we didn't quite have a choice. It was given to us. Can we bring color it to something less Flashy. eye eye burning? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is why I wear sunglasses. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool day. You need to rather. Well, it may look not so amazing in terms of color. It is rather defendable and it has great shutters and blackout curtains so certainly better than the last place i've been yeah but the color hey the colors are good for uh what if i bring clients over i guess i should ask can i uh what kind of clients um well uh they want like buying these and these and this oh, so not the same type of clients that i have okay got it uh i mean whatever but with time of kind, so do you have every? The only kinds. The one involving fans, I suppose. Yeah, the one involving fans. Ah, the only fans. Yeah. Yeah, they don't come over. They just request pictures and feet pic. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, very very rather... lucrative. Oh, sorry. A bit of a overshare, but opposed <laughs> like, to each their own. I suppose you have to make your own money somehow. Mm -hmm. I, I sell drugs. Not not much different worlds. Hey, yeah. but yes, the question being, can I bring he, uh, clients here and slash food? Because would, the colors are good for those. The cool... I don't know about the clients. I would bring more attention to here than is necessary. The little dangerous especially to me and isn't there uh, like Gwendale. a big open space behind us uh, uh yeah we are kind of in the middle of the docks uh pretty obvious where we are it, it's obvious and that kind of what makes it good for you know obscuring yeah. where we are i have my own haven so it's not a big deal you but... can bring food here i do not care for that because they can easily be forced to forget or you know yeah, blur their memories fun. See, the problem is the clients and the food are kind of one to the same. It just depends upon I'm hungry at the time. Uh, I suppose, I mean, we could go by it more case by case basis if you'd like. We're, me and Gwendale are probably going to be here more often than not. You can just ask us if it's okay or call us ahead of time and we can let you know. I mean, if as, long I'm as, around. Uh, as long as not a, they're not wanted, wanted by the by the police, you know. Uh, yeah, just don't get busted. I, it'd yep, be interesting. Fair enough. I don't think we want a police raid in the middle of the day. Mm hmm. That would sure. be for the best. Wow. Is it any of you? Imagine if there's like a like a dining room, a dining room area, or like a living room, living room. One of those. I was two. thinking living room. Okay, the living yeah. room. Living room. Okay. If I could, my chair is like the like a single chair that's like more off to the side. If I can, I would avoid the couch at all at all costs. If I could. Oh yeah, I am deeply yeah. slumped in that couch. Not nah, Avery just made herself at home. She like kicked off her boots and like just. I'm going to have a, a nice leather. Nice I'm going to have it. So I was about to say, like, uh, I'm going to have, like, a, a knight in the leather uh, photo. Um, okay. Very comfortable. I think I might get a bing bag. Oh. Like a giant oh, one? A bee bag chair, yeah. Mm. Like like a, like the really big ones, right? Uh, sure. I mean, this, it wouldn't be too out of place in this area, I suppose. Like, considering how interesting the decorations are but yeah that's the point interesting decorations something for people to stare at if y'all feel hungry you can uh take one of them i don't mind 
so did any of us do anything this whole week to figure things out? Did you? Uh, I, listen, I had plans with other Well, teams. so I guess it's no. Yeah, right. Well, I went wow. and investigated the sewer uh, because, you know, that's where our victim? Victim. Our victim uh, might have uh, escaped or came from or something. Uh, and it kind of got lost. Uh, uh-huh. Sorry. Uh, ended up in Palm Harbor and almost got wrecked by another NAS. Uh, probably way, way more powerful than I am. Uh, but she seemed nice. Uh, very, very rough. Rougher than I am. Um, facially, that is. Does she happen to be working with the Baron at all? That's it, This could be pretty bad for all of us. If... Uh, she definitely knew a lot. Uh, she guessed pretty good about who I am and what I was doing there. Uh, so, yes, I would like to assume Palm Springs Baron. Uh, and she definitely knows about the investigations. And she very correctly assumed that I am part of the investigation team. Did you, uh, who she's I did not confirm. Who she's working for? Uh, like I said, I'm probably the Baron of Paul. Which you did get the name. She did say Baron Pharaoh. That's right. Yeah. Uh, this, did you at least make like barely make it up to her? Apologize? Like, just... This could be. We did break the one thing that we said we were going to do, going to do territory, then introducing ourselves. We do need to do that, huh? Yeah, like, we do need to do that. She she said she'll let it slide. I was I was very lost. I did not know where I was. Um, God, it's this is worse than being around a prince's locale because you gotta oh. reach yourself at every single barony, don't you? God. Uh, I mean, sucks, but I mean, better than a bunch of random, you know, kindred coming in without telling you, than doing all sorts of crazy shit. I, mean, I guess. We just come in. I mean, we obviously. I'm assuming that all of us introduced ourselves when we first moved here, but. I mean, him calling us over kind of counted, I would think. Oh well, I just was like, hey. Well, no, I wasn't like, hey, I. It was. I made sure that they knew I was here. You hear a knock at the door. Sure, yeah, I'll get it. Okay. I would just like, like, like peek through, like have like the lock on there, but like peek through the hole. Um, you look through the um, the people, the, the people, and uh, you see uh the very familiar uh face of marcos kind of just ha- uh got uh, like standing outside he's got a manila folder in one hand that he's holding uh his the thumb of his free hand tucked into his pockets he's wearing designer jeans and a white v-neck shirt right okay uh she'll open the door hey and uh hello like can i come in uh, yeah. Yeah, you can come in. He steps inside and looks around. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't you love it? It looks like something my- it looks like a place my abuela would decorate. Wow. Okay. Um, plastic- is there plastic on the furniture? And he, like, looks over. No. No? Okay. Wow. Okay. Thankfully not. Um... So, uh, the Baron told me to let you guys, the boss get, let, told me to let you guys get settled for a week before bringing this over, and he holds up the vanilla folder and sets it on the coffee table. Uh, those are the murders that happened within the Tarpon Springs territory. Yeah, more. They're cool. Cold, they're cold cases at this point because we did a little bit of, we pretty much clean these up ourselves but if you guys want to look into them potentially then it, then you also have the oppor- the option to go to the other territories to speak to the barons and get those murder locations but uh, do you 
Marcus, I happen to know uh, if how the investigation for this current case over here is going. Do you know if they finally uh, served that under crocodile attack or gator yeah, attack? Uh, the boss got some in, got some details back from the his contacts at the station. They wrote it off as a gator attack. So, good job, I guess. Uh, yeah, that was mostly Val. Okay, good job, girl. With a sidekick. I mean, we're kind of sidekick. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. Don't worry about it. But uh, I, so these, this will allow us to go to the other baronies and or at least give us some more info on the cases and go to the other baronies. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not going to be able to help you out in that regard. That's kind of just going to have to be a, I can give you a location of where to meet said barons. Like, you let me know when you're gonna go there, and I can reach out and let you know when and where you should show up. Cause yeah, that will help. These, uh, cause, uh, there's... There's red tape you gotta go through a little bit. Right. With some of these people. Things. Like, See, things this can be fine. touchy. The guy from... This is why I didn't want to get involved in kindred stuff when I moved here, but... Yeah, the guy in Palm Harbor, he's, uh, he's okay, but he's just a little, he's a suit. A weird suit, but a suit. Looks over at other suit. <clears throat> we yeah. have our own suit. All eyes go to Valerie. <laughs> it just looks like, look, I just, I enjoy, oh, whatever, never mind. Just like kind of looks a little like bother, just looks away. So yeah, if you're wanting to set up a meeting with one of the other barons, you gotta let me know, and I will give you a time to meet them. In a location. Uh, I guess we can. You can go ahead and just send one now. Um, do, do y'all want to have a good, like, time to go? Uh, to which one? Arrow, um, presumably. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, sorry. Palm Harbor. Yeah. Uh, okay. I can, uh, I can send them, I can reach out. Probably won't be tonight. I'll let you know that much. So, you wanna, and he, look, he gestures to the folder, look over some other stuff you can work on until I can arrange that meeting. Yeah, that's fine. That'd be best, honestly. It'd be better if we had some time to prepare for that meeting. And also, just to make sure that our territory here is as secure as it could be. Considering that I saw a little bit of kindred activity, which luckily I've dealt with. Ah, oh, had your first, uh, trespasser? Probably won't be the last, but we'll deal with them as they come along. Being north of the border, I, uh, I assume we're gonna meet a lot of those. Yeah, this is kind of like the first stop for most kindred coming through. Since we are right at the top of the Anarch territories, is you especially, you guys are right at the border of Sebastian's. We picked a great spot, didn't we? I mean, I feel like this was done on purpose. You're also hey. really far if away from any of the fun stuff. Yep, so we are some kind of god frontier. I mean, the territory, or the domain, maybe, but, like, I don't know, like, I don't live in this area. <laughs> I mean, it's better than not having a domain, to be honest. That's why you got. that's why the boss... Yeah, I agree. I need you guys to let you know any places, like, if you had any questions about the area, or places to go, or people to know, to, to like, get in contact with, I... I'm, I'm his ghoul, so I'm kind of the person that arranges most of those things. Do you happen to know anyone of, of importance in this area, then, to get in contact with that would be beneficial for us? In this area? I mean, we've got a few people that live... Like, we've got a few pe important people that live here specifically in Tarpon Springs. We've got the boss, obviously. Um, also, uh, the sweeper, Savannah. She's around... Uh, 
if you ever wanted to talk to her. She's, um, she calls herself a pocket full of sunshine. Whatever that means. I kind of like that. <laughs> that does not sound very good for uh, us. Then. What's a sleeper? But luckily on the side. What's up? What? What's a sleeper? They're they're the they're like census takers, kind of. They um account for everyone who's in the territory, and also, at least in this this county, the sweepers of the baronies also are the enforcers. They, if you do something to piss off the barons, the sweepers are going to be the one to fuck you up. So instead of sheriffs, it's the local police. Yeah. But so just don't piss off the baron, I guess. Easy enough. Probably. I mean, not just Savannah you gotta worry about if you piss off the boss. You gotta worry about the boss. And you, presumably. Yeah. I'm glad we'll never have to get to that point then. Yeah, we're all gonna be, yeah. we're all gonna be good friends, right? Great oh, friends. friends. We are really all friends. I even have a roomie now, so. Um, another guy you probably should be aware of is the neutral zone sweeper. His name's Lucian. And he put, looks at Avery. He's one of your guys. I was, okay, cool. He uh, runs with a motorcycle gang and he pretty much is chill, just don't fucking break the masquerade and you're good. That sounds I like right. a motorcycle. Yeah, you'll hear you'll hear him coming. Right. We'll probably get along well with him considering our line of work here, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. he's been made aware of you guys in case you need to go to the neutral zone for any reason. He's gonna be the one you contact for neutral zone stuff also. Any pauses? Hopefully you won't have to talk to the other one. The other one? What is the other one? The boss told you he's got someone in the neutral zone who's mm. keeping things on the up and up for us. Right. She's, I remember uh... now. Everyone go ahead and give me a wits and insight. See if you can get it this time. Oh boy. Did I get my hunger down or so I'm at 300? Oh yes, um, it's, it's, I would assume that you, uh, in the t uh, like throughout the downtime, you would have eaten before tonight, so you can go ahead and go down to one hunger, everyone, but just go ahead and give me your rouse checks for today. Can I get my superficial health yes, back too? Yes, you healed, you healed that. Uh, how cool. do you, how do you, well, well Just V how do you... slash V and rouse. Slash. For, to see if you get hungrier. V, slash V and then you type Rouse. There you go. Alright, so Avery and Val, you're the ones that got hungry. I am always am. Yep. Those Ventru, I, I, I don't know what it is, man. I, like, every game I've ST'd, the Ventru is always the hungry one. I'm hungry for that power, I mean, hungry for that <laughs> uh, well, respected position. All right, what was the role again? Right? An I know. I never had a problem with Percival. That's cool. I mean, uh, that was supposed to be with uh, two hunger. Sorry. All good. Uh, it still wasn't a best show. Ooh, that's the best show right there, baby. You are not an insightful yeah. bunch. You guys are not insightful at all. I am noticing this. No, I haven't done my insight for blah blah blah. So yeah, so I will do what, what's an insight. Don't forget your hunger dice. Uh, uh, slash roll. So it's like one dice, right? So I do like uh. Yeah, because your hunger yeah. didn't change, so you're at one hunger. So you when you hit so hunger, like, you type in a one. So slash. So it's slash okay roll uh, pull okay and then I've like you press pull tab yeah. pull dice for the pull okay, so you put how many dice you have total for your oh uh, yeah i do have four so you do four and then you're gonna you're gonna tab press tab again yeah. and hit hunger, all right and then put how much right. hunger you're at zero one 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 all right unless you killed someone and we don't know about it 
<laughs> oh my god. See, River is the one that does insights for me, okay? River okay. is a lot better than I am. What's his, what's his pool? What's an insight? Oh, sh I didn't even realize we could. All right, that's awesome. Uh, it'd be seven dice. Seven if dice? it's with insight. Do you want, oh. do you want uh, your ghoul to uh, for you? Yeah. I'd like next to, you know. Avery's just distracted by the fact that there's a Bruja nearby. How many dice does uh, Nyx have? Uh, uh, I need to it? find out uh, where is... Uh, I need to find a uh, uh, shit. Are you sure you guys just don't want to play your ghouls? <laughs> My ghoul is awesome, okay? At doing the things yeah. that I'm terrible at. Um, uh, Nyx, where are you? Oops. Um... You don't have Nyx. No way. Huh? All right, I'm uh, just going to give her a base pool for right now. It's because I lost everything uh, with my computer. Remember it fried? Oh, no. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll have to find it in, my, in uh, Discord later because I know I sent it to you. Um, so all I'm right. just going to give her a base pool of six for right now. Mm -hmm. And it, viewers at home, if it's wrong, we'll adjust it next time. Okay. If wrong, however much difference it is, it's how much... Uh, Aggravated damage Windale takes. Right. Yes. That's how it works. It's only fair. Blood for blood, right? Something like that? I don't know. All right. So, uh, River, River is distracted because he's been putting groceries away in the kitchen and kind of only just like peeking in and out. So he doesn't really get anything off of uh, Marcos. But, uh, uh, Gwendale, uh, as, uh, you guys are talking to Marcos, uh, you do notice that, uh, Nyx, uh, who is sitting on the, sitting at the, uh, on one of the stools by the counter of the kitchen, you just see her smirk a little bit and start sipping her coffee, just hiding the grin behind the cup as she's watching Marcos. And she'll she'll make eye contact with you, Gwendale, and just like give you a wink, kind of saying like, "I'll tell you late. I'll tell you when he's gone." <laughs> and then they were like, "All right." Um, Hope oh, yeah. Hope up. Hopefully, you don't have to talk to that. Uh, so Marcos, I've been doing some um, research. Do you know anything about a Palm Harbor Nas named uh, Nyx? Nick Nyx. There's two Nyx. Okay, there's two Nyxes. All right. Um, you met Nyx from Palm Harbor? Uh, I, I, I found out about her. Okay. You found out about her. Um, watch your ass with her because she does not like the boss. Like was re like right. the guy like remember how he told you about the team that was looking into the the body that died right on the border of his place in the palm barberberry she was ready to slice the head off of some dusk born that came that was coming through she uh why she doesn't like the boss i can't, couldn't tell you why probably because he's good looking and she's not no offense, and he looks to Rex specifically. Um, yeah. Rex, Rex is handsome. Yeah, Rex doesn't look as bad as she does. Like this chick doesn't even she, have uh, a nose. Yeah, she doesn't look great. She's dangerous. That's all I can tell you. She's the sweeper for Baron Pharaoh. And that's what I needed to hear. Uh, and remember our sweeper is... Uh... Savannah. Savannah, right. I'm actually not sure who Pocket full of sunshine. I don't know who the sweeper for the uh, Dunead and Barony is. They kind of... The, the co-barons kind of keep that under wraps. And Baron Zeke kind of just... 
does the dirty work, he prefers doing the dirty work himself most of the time. Alright. But yeah. I okay. Uh, set up the meeting with the Bar with Barrow. Um, did you that's good. Any questions for me before I head on out? Can you tell us anything about Baron Pharaoh yeah. himself? About anything we should be aware of? Anything we should keep in mind? I'm inside. Fair, uh, the boss doesn't have anything bad to say about Pharaoh. But the boss also isn't going to do things like Pharaoh does. Uh... Huh? He's from your family. Your your guy. Your he's one of you guys. He gestures to Valerie. Ah, a he, suit. That's what you said. He served for a little while as an emissary between the Anarchs and the Camarilla. So he's actually like been to the south side, to the Camarilla territories for their Elysiums. Um, he's got a great relationship with the cam and with the people of his barony he very much doesn't want anyone the masquerade broken and he likes what the cam and the anarchs are doing here he thinks he believes in co he like from what i from what i've heard the boss say this he believes in that there, there is a possibility of cohabitation between the sex and how does he feel about mr de Leon? I couldn't tell you. The guy is really good at not being discreet. He's good at being discreet. He's good at not revealing himself. I see. He's got a good mask. But like I said, he's more democratic than anything. Like he's very like he believes in like he believes everyone should have equal power in his barony. Like, no one is above anyone else in his barony. Even though he's the baron, he kind of just makes it a place where everyone can live their life without any issues. Sure. I don't yeah. know okay. much about the Anarch, like, the Anarchs too much, but, um, like there's waves of anarchs from what I've heard the boss say, and he's pretty much a like what I've, I've heard him described as a second wave anarch. <laughs> okay, I mean that sounds great. I mean if he thinks everyone's uh -oh. um I'm sorry, but like weird second wave. Uh, I feel. What does that mean? No offense, Valerie. I he looks. Uh, Marcos looks like Wendell. I couldn't tell you. Like I said, I don't know much about Anarch society as it is. I just know what I've heard the boss say. And that's what I've heard the boss say about Pharaoh, is that typical second wave Anarch rhetoric. Um, not, to be rude, not to be rude, Mr. Marcos, but uh, how long have you been a ghoul for Mr. Deleon? You remember the Miami drug wars? It was a huge, Can't say. It was a huge thing back in the uh, like early '90s, late '80s. I was a kid. Also, uh, infant. So, not not an infant. I was like four, I think. So basically, um, there were so many gangs shooting each other up during the Miami drug wars. It was, no, not like, it was in the 90s. It was like the late 70s to the late 80s. Um, since then. I wasn't even around. Yeah, it was, it was since then. I've been, I've been with, I've been with the, with the boss since then. All right. Uh, do, I don't think we have any other questions, do we? No, no. no. Well, good. That file's for you. There's three police reports in there. Some photos of the bodies and uh, how they were found. These don't exist on the police databases anymore. Uh, but 
Those are for you. Look them over. If you want to investigate, go for it. I will set up the meeting with Mr. Farrow and let you know when you can go see him. Thank you very much. That sounds good. Thanks. Appreciate your help. And Marcos will uh, head on, it will stand up. Or no, he was already standing. He'll head on over to the door and let himself out. So not and... only did you happen to slightly peel off the sweeper of the place we're going to, it also happened to be a sweeper of a venture. God, this is going to be unpleasant. Hey, you just do your ventrum thing and it'll be fine. Nyx comes uh, out from the kitchen and leans against the back of Gwendale's chair and kind of like props her head on top of his head a little bit. You know, he's terrified of whoever the hell this, this Sebastian has in the neutral zone, right? Nothing really looks like it. Did none of you? Yeah. Okay. That is, well, a man, I, that, that is a man who is a f deathly afraid of whoever the fuck Sebastian's got down there. So we should oh, be deathly stay afraid. Stay out of the neutral zone. Either a very strong person or one of those scarier clans. I don't know, but his at like I could see his I could see everything clench when he uh, what? when when he was talking about her, whoever the hell that is. I, I want to know what you what you think a scarier clan is. Uh, the Kakata, the, the ones that eat the dead and uh, necromancy and shit. That's a thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, shit. I guess yeah. I was going to Akeem, but they're more like um. Yes. Um. We'll probably talk about it around uh, some whiskey next time. Uh, uh, I can get you something else if you need something else. Yeah, she doesn't. Do you got weed? No. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Hey, is, I'm allowed to no, no. weed. It's legal. Weed is okay, but not, not too far. It's legal here, right? Let me, right. Right. Let me grab my shit. I'm not going to smoke it during the sure show. I'm not going to smoke it while I'm on the clock. Don't worry. It's just when you, you want, are all asleep. You, you want some edibles? I got fudge. Man, why did I have to, like, die before all of this became legal? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. Also, River can make a good cup of coffee. River, love it. And River is just kind of, like, in the kitchen, just, like, not used to praise. <laughs> I need to get me a ghoul. I have um, this something um, like a ghoul. So. Right. Let's let's just hope he doesn't find out where I, this place is. Mm -hmm. All right. Are any of you gonna look at the files? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss that open on the uh, coffee table there. Right. There's only one file, right? There's three re police reports inside the Manila folder. So. Right. One is a police report for a body that was found in Craig Park. The photos depict a mangled corpse, uh, kind of just strewn on a on a on a children's slide. There is some blood smears on the uh, the slide itself, but not enough to prove like not enough of it you can see that there's not enough blood that would warrant some of the wounds that this body has and you can see that the throat's pretty much been torn out and the individual like the photos of the corpse uh from the autopsy report you can see that the corpse was of a of a young man who looked like he was dressed jogging like to go jogging and everything um the second report is for a body that was found in a copse of trees uh, at 698 Royal Drive in Tarpon Springs, so in a residential neighborhood. Um, the body looked like it was partially chewed on around the leg by an alligator, but 
this one has a similar has the similar lack of blood uh, on around around on the body. It's broken in areas, and then you do see some familiar like it, you, you're noticing a pattern of bite of the bite marks throughout all of the, the photos. But this one's on the shoulder right here. Um, and the final body uh, in Tarpon Springs was in Wall Springs Park. This body did not look as mangled as the others, and you can kind of see that it, it was in the photos. It was found in like a boggy area, not yet, not really a pond, but not like it's like probably up to knee length water if you walked through it and waded through it. And you can see that the body was just found there, kind of floating, but not as mangled as it was. But still, the telltale lack of uh like torn off flesh around the neck area can i read the dates of each one yeah so the one in craig park let me pull up a calendar real quick let's see the murder started back in july like the end of july so the craig park body was found on august 24th the 698 Royal Drive body was found on September 10th. And the Wall Springs Park body was found on September 27th. Here's a weird idea. What if... What if one of us poses as a jogger? And are, are these all kindred, or are they just kind that got attacked? These were kind. Because if it was kindred, there wouldn't be much evidence left. True. Mm -hmm. Like, you're kind of like, uh, Valerie, like, for like, while you're investigating, kind of with like, zoning out for a bit, like, kind of tapping on their lip, just thinking about something, and then kind of like, come to like, think, like, when you kind of mentioned the idea of like, posing at the jogger, I probably. Considering the whole track record is, I mean, at least so far we know it's kind, probably wouldn't work. And they seem like they're not the type to just go for someone that's easy or hard. It seems like they want to go for easy people, easy prey. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. But I mean, we could have one of the, the goals. difference. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, would, there, would they be able to tell the difference between us and kind if we're, you know, warmed up or? I mean, it depends on what they're capable of. We don't know exactly what they have at their disposal. To like, they're. I feel like I think. Ah, sorry. I believe there are ways for some with certain disciplines to know, you know, kind or kindred. I'm pretty okay. sure. I but, just. I don't feel comfortable. I know they're not my goals, but I don't feel comfortable putting them in danger. I would not do that to yeah. River. It, yeah, Nyx is looking at lo looking at Gwendale already, just like, I'm not fucking getting chomped up. No, she's no, not you're saying, not. No, she's not saying, she's kind of giving you a look, just like, don't you dare. Oh, no, I mean, what happens? I could send somebody, but they wouldn't look like a normal jogger. I'm just saying, like, I look small and helpless, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you can send someone, you know, you, you you give them some cocaine and then they can run very fast. Um, We're not drugging someone up to be bait. No, but I they mean, want to be drugged. I mean, they're buying drugs from him, Sahara. You know, it doesn't matter. We're still not drugging someone up to be bait. No, I, I they, mean, they, we are not drugging them. They are buying drugs from him. and uh, that, that Yes, I, uh, I have exactly that person uh, if we need to. But again, they probably wouldn't look like a normal jogger they look like a crackhead and more less on that is more the idea that we're where are they going to run all of tarpon springs all of yes. saint pete they're just going to run up and down and hopefully eventually stumble across them like it's you know who could do that and not have to worry about running out of stamina a, a crackhead yeah, you're uh, gonna run you're through every territory. <laughs> going to run through every territory in the middle of the yep. night and pray that you do not come across anything or have any other kindred get upset that you're running through every territory. 
in the middle of the oh, night. Man, I mean, if the other maybe... variants know what we're up to, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. we can put a uh, we can put a hair tag on her, and then River you know. River pokes his head. R River like what steps into the into the living room, ma'am, if I may. Go ahead. What if you investigate the areas first and get a profile of the locations of all the murders? That yeah, it's a lot better of an idea. At least we know where we're going to run if you want to do this. I mean, I might do it anyways. What are you guys going to do? Stop me? Uh, um, whatever. No. no, you can do whatever you want. You're good um, right now. If you I like, prefer if you, I you prefer mean. if you did it because your actions reflect on ours as much as you may think otherwise. Well, I just around our area. Yeah, right. Go ahead, do uh, whatever you want in our area. I don't care. Yeah. I just a quick. Do what I want in our area. Just a I quick. Uh, for you, Nix. Go, go ahead. Uh, uh, I'd like to. Know. I'd like to see if um, if all of these are near water. Go ahead and uh, give me a wit, uh, an intelligence. No, wit, wits, because you're reading through them quick, quickly. Um, you have the hey, answers actually. Um, you can give me a wits and investigation, and yes, Gwendale, you can help him. Nice. Wits so and investigation to, to see if these areas are near water. Um, I'll pass that on to him since his okay. uh, investigation is better than mine. Uh, one, well. one extra dice from me. Uh, so, uh, so it's what? What is it? Wits and investigation. Yes. So it's going, and then I have like one more dice. So it's going to be like. Six dice. Six, and then one anger. Two successes. Two successes? Two successes is enough. It's not hard because you can pull up Google Maps and everything of the addresses and plug them in. Every single one of these locations is near water. All right, so if you want to do your dumb jogging plan, we you can jog near the water. It's not dumb. Uh, inefficient, let's say that. <laughs> you don't know me very well. I do have an idea. We'll I mean, get used to each other. Yeah, I mean, if you have nothing else to do during the night, go ahead. I mean, mm -hmm. go ahead, Gwendale. Uh, so, Nix, do you have? Do you happen to have a drone? I can get one. And we could put a, a camera and maybe we can follow our friend who is jogging by the sea. Yeah, I can. They're easy to pick up. I mean, I can probably get a cyber. I can probably like get some Cyber Monday mm. deal or something. They're on sale right now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, a, silent, a uh, small silent one with a camera. Yeah. And uh, while our friend is jogging, you can sit, have a whiskey and, you know, do your stuff with the drone. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs to my computer and go buy one then, because that That's sounds real. like fun anyway. So I oh, see yeah. her just uh, start jogging up the stairs <laughs> to go purchase a drug. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Nick. It's uh, twenty bucks per cube of fudge. Fine. Um, I'll bring some money down. It's kind of expensive. It's loaded up. Still kind of expensive. Yep. I'll be honest, are... I know nothing about drug prices. It's two hundred. It's it's it's, it's eight dollars for a two fifty. She <laughs> works. Yeah, she works for her. she works for a uh, dispensary. Shop. I work for a dispensary. Hey, mark it up. Mark it's it up. Good yeah. fucking fudge, okay? Good fudge. They got some good chocolate. My mama fudge, fudge makes. Fudge. It's his grandma's recipe, okay? Yeah, it's a good shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, Valerie, Valerie like, kind of, uh, which is, so we are ignoring a, a very important part of all this, and I know is our meeting is going to be for with Pharaoh, especially considering that you have possibly, you might have said that let go this time, but you have to prepare in case it hadn't. And I do not know if any of you have any sort of contingencies when it comes to, you know, at least making a quick escape. But something well, we should possibly fan, plan for when we find more about the location and the details of the meeting. Well, we do want to know one thing at least. There's going to be a NOS in the room. Well, there's always a NOS in the room. So. Exactly. Always think, always, always Assume think there's that a there's a NOS in the room. In the room. 
but we it's know who it is. That's the difference. Yes. And do we happen to know where to be? Have something to get and counteract that? Something to possibly work against that? I do not. None of us have, at least from what I've seen so far, the ability to see anything invisible. Uh, good point. I can just walk in every corner. Yeah, it doesn't fish. mean they have a little camera. Unless they're the ones that can hide from cameras. But... No, we cannot, I don't think. Walking around with a camera out in this meeting would probably mm-hmm. be quite frowned upon, at the very Look, least. Look, I'm just throwing out ideas, like... And it's appreciated. I'm just letting you know why it possibly won't work. I have never you said get a I cat. was a smart person. What? Oh, I can get a cat. No, cats don't like us. Well, well I can I'm... summon one that does. If there's, if a cat, it seems like the dog would reacting to your presence if you were close. I don't know, honestly. So if they, if they're able to sense you. It would be a, a good idea if you could have the one that is on our side. We could. I just, I, being a Ventru, has, I know a lot of qualities of other Ventrus, and I do know they're not usually the most forgiving of types, nor the ones that happen to be most kind. So I want to make sure that we are prepared for anything that could possibly happen. Again, you're the first venture I've met. Actually, you're the first, well, except for Gangrel. I've met lots of Gangrel. But you two, first of your kind that I've met. Well, um, it is ironic that he's supposed to be super democratic and be a Ventru. That is a little weird. I always figured Ventures were just, you know, dirty capitalists. Well, is it true? No enough? offense, Valerie. I mean, capitalism and dem- democracy do work together a lot. Neolibs and all that. I... Right. Anyways, different conversation. Yeah, I don't I don't believe there is whole preaching about democrat I mean democracy. I don't think I've ever met a venture who truly embodies such ideals and i have met quite a number unfortunately we'll meet one your phones all go off the group text with marcos has lit up as you check your text messages you can see he has written a message for you meeting on for next week at this time and he puts in an address Google Maps the address. This is crafty not having an address yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what a location. Somewhere in Palm Harbor. I okay, it, it is a location in Palm Harbor. Uh, this is this is Zumi requesting that we finish. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. That's why. So, uh, we're gonna wrap up now. Um, so base. So you guys have a meeting date set for. The bear with Baron Ian Farrow for next week. Um, you guys are going to have a week to do downtime and figure out what you uh, what you want to work on. Next week, we are going to start the meeting with the Baron, so keep that in mind uh, for your downtime actions. Because we're going to start, we're, we're not going to touch as much on the downtime actions at the beginning of the session. We're just going to jump right in with Mr. Farrow. Sounds great. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for an episode, another episode of uh, St. Pete by Night, Don't Get Caught. Uh, If you like what you've seen so far, come on and join us over on our Discord server. Give other episodes and other streams on our channel a watch. We're on YouTube as well if you want to catch up on episodes that way. And uh, thank you once again to my lovely players, and we will see you all next week. This has been a St. Petersburg by Night production. Don't Get Caught is produced in agreement with the World of Darkness and Dark Pack. The storyteller for Don't Get Caught is Crafty. 
Tonight's characters were voiced by Izumi, Judicale, Krizaz, and Jay. Visit our website at stpbynight.com for more information about all our productions and how you can become part of our community. Thank you for listening. Until next time, fangs, stakes, and claws out.